Well, good morning. This is Crystal with The Traveling Attic. Today I'm at a pretty new park. It's I think it's about 10 months old. It's called King Creek. And there is a new trail here, and there'll be more trails as time goes on. But this trail is called Cane Creek Northern Approach Trail. It doesn't crest or summit the um, Bass Mountain, but it does go in a loop around close to the Bass Mountain area in Snow Camp, North Carolina. It does have a restroom, nice little parking area. I don't know, maybe 20 cars or so. Oh, and um. I had um, a couple questions about my last video about the geocache, and I'll be doing some geocaching here as well. To find how to geocache, go to geocaching.com. It's free, you sign up, and you'll find the map. The geocaches are all over the whole world. You can buy the Premier if you want more caches um, that are special, maybe because you had to pay the Premier to get them, but there's plenty of caches to find on the free site as well. It's www.geocaching.com. Check it out. It's a lot of fun, especially if you have kids that love to treasure hunt. It's a lot of fun. It's all over the world. You need a pen or a pencil to sign the log. And if you want to take a trinket or a swag that you find in the boxes, you need to replace it with something. So be sure and bring something to replace it with, you know, something little tidbit you'll see. I don't, I've found all kinds of things in there. Don't put any food in there that ants and bugs will find. And of course, don't put money in there so that it doesn't become a uh, hit place. And of course, no drugs, anything like that. Just little tricklets that kids would like or just fun things to find. All right, let's head on out. Okay, we're at Cane Creek Mountains Natural Area. So here's the map. We're here. Let's see, well, I always go to the right. And then we just go around. It's two and a half miles. Okay, I've come to the fork. I'm gonna go to the right. It's just a loop so you can go either way. It's a little muddy to be expected. Everything I've been on lately has been muddy. Well, oh God, that would have been bad. I would about face plant right into the uh, mud. Trekking pole saves me every time. Found my first geocache. Let me get it open. Okay. Okay, let's see. There's the stuff that's in there. Cute little things. All right, and I will sign the log and put it back. So I've come to a fork, it's Northern Approach Trail. I think I'll do the Hartleaf Loop Trail just to see what it is. So now we're on the white trail with the black arrows. It's young forest, it looks like. Small trees, but it's really pr pretty. All right, I just found another one. All right, number two I found in Cane Creek Mountain. So I've finished the Heartleaf Loop, and I am going to go ahead and finish the Northern Approach Trail, which is 2.1 miles. found one all right here's cool you can grab a pencil to sign the log
All right, I found another one. You know, if this is summertime, you wouldn't want to be sticking your hands in there, so be careful. Bunch of uh, swag. That's it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna sign the log, and we're off. Okay, this absolutely has to be the summit of the trail. And at the very top, I don't see any more land higher than me. So I've had a lot of people asking me how I lost my 50 pounds. I'm not done. I'm hoping to lose about 20, 30 more. I have a nutrition coach, Laurie. Hey, Laurie. And I will put the uh, link in the description of her contact information. She's helped me because I need somebody to, to hold me accountable for what I eat. And I recognized that and I went ahead and um, had Laurie do that for me and um, that's helped tremendously to keep me on track I also do um, between carnivore and keto I lowered my carbs I knocked out all the processed foods sugars breads grains rice that kind of thing and sodas sodas were my big thing and sometimes I still crave sodas but not like I used to so uh, that's how I've lost my 50 pounds so far and trying to stay on track. Hiking helps a lot. It really doesn't help if you don't put the diet part into it because I was hiking for a year and actually just gaining weight. Um, I was eating more when I got home because I was hungry. So anyway, to answer that question and we're going to finish this hike up, I'm going to skip some of the geocaches because I don't have time to finish them all and find them all. But there's a lot of caches in this park, so if you are a geocacher, come on out and check them out. They're, they have some good hiding spots. Okay, let's move on. Let's see, I found another one. And the sign-in log. Everything's dry. I thought I got some. Oh, it is a pin. All right, I'm going to sign the log put it back. Check out this root ball. Poor thing had so many rocks in it. it goes right under the ground. It's going down in a hole somewhere. Awesome. I don't know if the video is going to show the uh, sun sparkling off the water. It's really pretty. So peaceful. I'm back from the Cane Creek Northern Approach Trail and I took the other little loop trail that they had available in the park as well. The whole mileage came out to 3.6 miles so it was a nice uh, trail. Okay so I thought of this cool idea. When I find a geocache and if it's big enough I'll stick a card in there. If you find my card and watch any video and comment on my video I will send you a souvenir from the Traveling Attic. I I have just discovered my hundredth geocache today at this park, Cane Creek Park. All right, I'm gonna get out of here and get home. If, if you like the video, please subscribe and share it with somebody who can't go outside because that's the purpose of my videos. I share them with people who can't walk or can't get outside that love nature. Pass it on. All right, until next time, see you later. Thanks for watching.